Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 23rd, 2022. Well, yesterday, those bears kind of came in pretty hard and fast. They were a little bit on the hungry side um, Monday morning. Partially um, the reason uh, there's a, a new fear about um, rising rates or the potential of an aggressive Fed when we see China continuing to cut interest rates and European markets going into substantial turmoil due to inflation. So as we watch um, things weakening in economic conditions around the world, um, U.S. markets are maybe waking up to the fact that well, this, this rally may have been a little bit long in the tooth and a little bit too aggressive um, in the upside. So now the question is, we have, looking at this chart, noticing that we have broken this um, upside trend, now we're going to start looking for price support levels in the chart. And as you can see, we kind of broke down below that price support level here. Um, in that chart yesterday and we have an additional price support level maybe right in here that we could catch and see if we could bounce back to the upside pretty painful sell-off for folks yesterday if you weren't prepared for it and if you hadn't taken some profits um, going into the weekend so we'll want to watch that closely now the question that we have to um, have answered is will this support hold will we break back down below that or will we bounce back up off of here and then we start looking once again for that resistance in here to maybe cause us a little bit of problem and if that resistance in here starts to react as we rally back up then we worry about that potential lower high or even that double top high um, here in the chart. So watch those closely. Now, if we take a look at the SPY, very much the same situation where we push back, we broke down below this price support. And unfortunately here in the SPY, it all depends on how you draw this. Um, um, as you can see my uh, uh, downtrend here in the chart, we set right on that downtrend here, trying to gain a little bit of price support. And if I were to take this line and move us down here, that's where our next price support resides here in the chart. And we're gonna have to see if we can hold that level. Now, once again, if we were to rally back, if we can bounce off of this, that's what we uh, are going to need to see. We're we're going to watch a level right in here as we try to bounce back up um, in the chart. Watch that in there for a potential lower high or that double top high. We'll have to be keeping our eyes on that. Um, we certainly could zoom right back through to new highs, but remember, um, to do that, we're going to have to cut, overcome significant resistance levels in the chart. If we take a look at our QQQ, one of the issues going on here with the QQQ is the very, very strong bond yields. Um, bond yields spiked um, yesterday and um, that actually sent um, US dollar to multi-year highs. Um, it is now, um, um, kind of a difficult situation here for other countries here with our U.S. dollar being uh, or showing this much strength. Now, please keep in mind, we're only showing strength in the U.S. dollar because other currencies are so weak. And the U.S. dollar just happens to be the, the best looking guy at, a, at an ugly dance um, at the moment here when it comes to currencies because we have devalued it so much with all the money printing. Now, if we take a look at our QQQ, um, QQQ broke that upside trend. And unfortunately, as you look here, it broke price support levels in the chart and also broke down below that trend break. That's a bit of a problem here for us in the market. Now, keeping in mind, breaking this price support, we still have a price support right in here that could catch us 
and we could maybe bounce up off of that. But we've added some additional resistance here now in um, the QQQ. We'll want to watch that closely. Now, you do want to keep in mind that we've got these 50-day moving averages below in these index charts. So not all is lost and by any means. As a matter of fact, there's no reason to just be whoops, running for the door here um um in fear but there is reason for just a little bit of concern as we look at these charts and um iwm pushing back down pushing down into some price support still holding above that downtrend break so not near as rough here in that chart it's holding in there okay but we do want to recognize the fact that we did break the upside trend so any rally back we have to be watching for that potential of a lower high or double top high type pattern let's take a look at our vix now our vix shot up yesterday um, breaking this downtrend that we've been talking about here in the chart and unfortunately um, we um, are testing this resistance level here in the chart. Um, tested it pretty solidly um, yesterday, but we didn't break through. So now the question that we have to deal with is will those bears continue to remain inspired, spiking this back above that 25 handle and hold, or will those bulls um, defend the support levels and hold in here, pulling this back, and we'll see if we can hold some price supports, maybe a cross through in here, that kind of thing um, um, in this chart. So certainly with this spike up, a little bit of fear came into the market, a little bit of uncertainty. That's gonna create some price volatility and maybe a little bit of a challenge um, in the days ahead on price action. Now let's take a look at our T2122. Now T2122 have been, has been signaling and telling us about this possibility for some time. And I did mention the fact last week that the long we stay up here when it when it breaks it can move hard and fast and that's kind of what we had happen here in t2122 now the question for us um, today is if those bears were to stay inspired you can see we still have more downside potential here before we reach that bullish reversal zone that oversold area um, in the chart because we were so extended um, it to the upside. So we'll want to watch for that possibility. We do still have a little bit of downside room that could, um, could occur if those bears are inspired. Now also keep in mind, we move so hard, so sharply to the downside, it wouldn't be out of the question to see a bounce. And if we can get the bulls inspired, then we could see that relief back up. The question is, how will it deal with the resistance levels now that are above? So watch that carefully. Now our T2107 also pulled back pretty substantially, but here's the good news. So far um, in T2107, by the way, this is the percentage of stocks above their 200 day moving average. And you can see that we have so far held that um, trend break here in T2107. And the other thing that we have to be focused on here a little bit is we, we maybe gave up just a little bit of price support in that chart right there, but we're still holding in there pretty well. So if the bulls can be inspired and we bounce off of this, then there may not be any problem. If the bears continue to, um, to um, you know, eat, um, they've been pretty hungry here lately. If they continue to eat, pushing us down, if they happen to be inspired, breaking that trend in here might cause a little bit of uncertainty here for the market. And the same thing would be true in the T2108. This is the number of stocks above the 40-day moving average. And as you can see in this chart, um, we were really extended in this move. And um, now we've pulled back substantially. But here again, the good news is we're holding above that downtrend and we still have some price support levels in the chart that could hold us. Although we did break that one, as you can see, there's kind of another level right in through here that could hold us um, in that um, above that downtrend break. So 
we'll want to watch that closely. Um, if the bulls remain inspired to defend support levels, then we could bounce right up off of here. If the bears find that inspiration, well, we'll want to watch that one pretty closely because that could raise some eyebrows and uncertainty here in the market. If we take a look at our T2101, now T2101 had a little bit of improvement in volume yesterday. But unfortunately, I don't think T2120, T2101 is still giving us great information because overall our volumes weren't super. Um, we had just a little bit of increase here in um, the diamonds. Notice we're not testing that moving average there in that volume profile. And if we take a look at our SPY, it spiked a little bit higher, giving us a little bit more energy. And, and I do think that is a, a, a factor of those bond yields really putting pressure on big tech. And then, of course, um, the QQQ spiking up but a little bit. But I don't think it's really showing us um, great data because our volumes just haven't been where we would like them to be to show us that energy. Now, if we take a look at our economic calendar for today, you'll want to pay attention to, we got several things in here that could happen this week moving us along. So yesterday we had virtually nothing to worry about in the economic calendar except some bond auctions. And you'll notice in here, we've got a PMI composite flash coming out here this morning and new home sales. We know that new home sales can be could be a little bit bearish, so we'll want to watch carefully on these numbers. It really all depends who gains that inspiration here on the day, whether we're going to be able to push on forward or push on down. Richmond Fed uh, Manufacturing Index might be interesting to watch, too, because we've been seeing some weakening in that manufacturing sector. And then we've got a two-year note auction. That's certainly going to be uh, something to pay attention to. And then later on today, we've got a Fed speaker. I, that's not going to cause any problems for us. But as we plan forward, as you're thinking about how you're going to deal with today, you might want to be thinking about what comes next. Before the market opens on Monday, we're going to get durable goods orders and those uh, mortgage applications that have been declining. So we'll want to watch that. Durable goods is definitely a market mover. Keep a close eye on that. Then we're going to have those pending home sales in here. And then just keeping in mind, we're just going to kind of leapfrog this into that uncertainty this week. We're going to leap right over here to that GDP number. Um, and jobless claims. So big market moving events right before the open. So we'll want to be a little bit careful here um, and plan carefully as you think about the week ahead. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar, we have a little bit bigger day today um, uh, with notables. About 30 companies on the list and more than 20, 20 of those, more than 20 of those are um, notable for today. So let's go through a few of those on that earnings calendar. Um, we've got Advance Auto Parts that we'll be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Um, Dick's Sporting Goods, if you saw Dick's was really being kind of active yesterday in the trade. Um, lo looks like we got a little bit of uh, back and forth here on Dick's report this morning. Um, later on this afternoon, we've got um, Intuit that we'll be reporting. We'll also hear from um, some retail like uh, JD.com. Uh, we've got uh, Nordstrom's we'll be reporting. We've got Macy's reporting. We're going to hear from Urban Outfitters. So keep an eye on those reports this morning. We'll also hear from Toll Brothers. That'll be an interesting one today to see how we are responding to these declining home sales. So watch those carefully. There's a few other on that list. If you want to catch the full notables, uh, full list of notables, please click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog. Now let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. And remember guys that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you should do your own due diligence. Never 
ever blindly follow someone's trade idea. Make sure you understand the risk of the trade. Make sure you understand the why of the trade and make sure it fits your own personal risk tolerance for trading. Let's take a look at a couple of these. You know, one of the things that I mentioned is the dollar being um, incredibly strong. And it's very interesting to me that with the dollar showing this much strength and spiking yet this morning, we're seeing um, energy um, moving back higher. Look at the patterns here in XLE. If we take a look, we're holding and breaking through some of this resistance and showing strength in energy. Now, typically you would see commodity prices pull back with a strong dollar because it takes fewer dollars to buy that commodity. But that all changes when we start to experience shortages in those commodities. And that may be what we're seeing here. So we'll wanna watch this closely. This will really complicate things for China, Europe, and other countries if these energy prices begin to surge back up. And it also complicates things here for the, us in the United States because if that gas price and those energy prices continue to move higher, we're gonna see that inflation rate um, remain stubbornly strong, um, which means an aggressive Fed. So let's watch that carefully here. Energy showing some strength. And if we look at natural gas, I've told you guys that I've been holding UNG here long term. And oh my goodness, um, natural gas, um, really strong. And you know, I gotta tell you, I'm not sure that's gonna change anytime soon with the issues that we're seeing over there in Europe and, um, you know, Russia, um, uh, you know, playing games with their supplies. So we'll wanna watch that carefully. Natural gas is, is um, extremely important um, to Europe and, uh, and of course all places around the world, but we're running into some issues here, substantial issues in supplying enough energy. And with winter coming, that's going to be um, um, interesting thing to be paying attention to. One of the things that I talked about yesterday is to be watching some of these charts, big tech charts that we're pulling back for potential shorting um, in, in these charts. So watch this carefully here in Microsoft. You see Microsoft, this is a pretty ugly pullback here. Now we may find some price support in this area. And here's the thing, we're going to have to watch these pretty closely as they rally. If they rally back up, remember one of my rules for trading is I want to short stocks at or near price resistance. So if Microsoft, as you can see, breaking this upside trend, if it bounces in here somewhere along these support levels, what we're going to want to do is watch these resistance levels in the chart to see if they affect that chart negatively. And that would set up a potential short trade. So keep a close eye on those. You might want to take a look at some of these defensive sector stocks. Um, today we've got uh, Schmuckers reporting um, and you can see Schmuckers moving up here pretty sharply. Now we've got quite a little bit of resistance in that chart above, but even with the selling yesterday, we saw a few of these stocks continuing to hold pretty strong above some high levels. Take a look at Kellogg's here, holding in there pretty strong, um, even though it did find some sellers yesterday being looked down with everything else. And we're seeing stocks like, whoops, um, um, GIS that really had little to no reaction to that selling yesterday. Um, when, we are, when we're seeing a food and defensive sector stocks hold up, it does make me worry just a little bit that institutions may have been rotating into those defensive names um, why they rallied the markets, um, why retail was kind of chasing in, and that can create those big ugly sell-offs. And, and the question is, will that sell-off continue? That's yet to be seen, but watch some of these defensive sector stocks. They're holding up pretty darn well um, in the market. Other things that I thought were kind of interesting yesterday, if we look at um, stocks like, um, or commodities like corn, 
corn surged higher yesterday on that strong dollar and we're continuing to surge up here this morning uh, gapping higher here in some of these commodity prices so keep a close eye on that if those really start to spike back up again that's going to put um, some pressure on that fed um, and that could hold that um, um, inflation stubbornly high for a lot longer so watch those close now other places that you might want to be taking a look at um, I think it would be a really good idea to continue to watch um, some of these um, alternative energy stocks take a look at plug power here it has pulled back now this is an awful steep rally and I would suspect that there could be more of a consolidation yet in this chart but let's keep an eye on this on this pullback here in this chart there may be some support in here we know that uh, Congress passed a whole bunch of money um, to help these alternative energies um, get going um, and as you can see um, we'll watch in here if this holds in this area look for that next opportunity to the upside there and plug take a look at uh, first solar First solar would be another to pay attention to. Now it's really elevated in this move and I would suspect more consolidation or even more pullback could occur in this chart. But watch for that next opportunity here if that can continue to hold um, um, these upper levels in the chart. Take a look at stocks like um, Procter & Gamble. Procter & Gamble, nice little pattern here. Little inverted head and shoulders pattern holding that support here in the chart. Keep a close eye on some of those. And I think healthcare has been looking pretty good um, um, overall. Take a look at UNH. Trying to break through some resistance here in the chart would be worth keeping an eye on. Even seeing stocks like BMY that have been struggling and struggling and struggling here with their 50-day moving average, getting back above that 50 and trying to hold it in here. So watch some of those healthcare and drug maker stocks. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Truly appreciate it. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Wish you guys all the best tonight.